Hello friends, this is Engineer Tahir and you are watching me on Global Civil Engineers. Today I will share an interesting topic with you that is most beneficial for every civil engineering aspirant including working engineers. So guys, I hope you would love to watch this video. And friends, it is unfortunate that most of us do not know about these terms. But don't be desperate. I have simplified these terms for you. Keep watching this video. To get notification about my latest videos that I upload, please friends subscribe this channel by clicking on red colored subscribe button below. And also press the bell icon. Come on, hurry up, it's free of cost. Let's discuss various technical terms that are used in brick masonry work. First one is stretcher. A stretcher is the longer face of the brick, 19 cm into 19, 9 cm. As here you can see, this brick has one of dimension 19 cm and thickness 9 cm. This face of the brick is known as stretcher. Another term is stretcher course or stretching course. A stretcher course is a course of bricks in which all the bricks are laid as stretchers on facing. As here in this course you can see all the bricks here are laid as stretchers on facing. You can see this brick shows stretcher, this brick also is having stretcher, this brick also is having stretcher on facing. So that course in which all the bricks are laid as stretcher on their facing is known as stretching course. Okay, let's move to another term. Header. Header, it is the shorter face of the brick. Here I have made a diagram. This face of the brick, which is shorter in dimension, is that is 9 cm width and thickness 9 cm, is known as header. Okay, another term is header course or heading course. It is a course of bricks in which all the bricks are laid as headers on the facing. So this is the brick course in which all the bricks are laid as headers on facing. As you can see here it is header course it is header course. So in this course all the bricks are laid as headers on facing. Another term is bed. It is the lower face of the brick 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter when laid flat. As you can see in this diagram this face of the brick that is lower face of the brick whose length is 19 centimeter and width is 9 centimeter is known as bed. Lap. The horizontal distance between vertical joints of successive brick courses is called lap. Here I will show you this diagrammatically. This distance that is from this joint to this joint this horizontal distance is known as lap. Another term is Perpend. A perpend is an imaginary vertical line which includes the vertical joints separating two adjoining bricks. I will show you it here. It is a vertical imaginary line. As you can see I have drawn a line here. This imaginary line which joins these joints in bricks is known as perpend. Coin. <coughs> it is a corner or external angle on the face side of a wall generally kept at 90 degrees. When two brick walls meet each other with making any angle we call it coin. If this angle that these two walls made is equal to 90 degree we call it square coin. If the enclosed angle between the walls is less than 90 it is known as acute second. And if it is greater than 90 degree, it is known as obtuse second, as you can see. Another term is raking back. It is the termination of a wall in a stepped fashion. Here I will show you it. If you can see this, termination of wall here goes to be in stepped fashion, as you see this stepped fashion. It is known as raking back. Toothing. Toothing, it is the termination of wall in such a fashion that each alternate courses at the end projects in order to provide educate bond if the wall is continued horizontally at a later stage. 
each alternate layer projects in or projects out in order to provide an adequate bond if the wall is continued horizontally at later stage now closer is the portion of a brick with a with cut made longitudinally here you can see if we cut a brick longitudinally it is known as closer it helps in preventing the joints of successive courses to come in vertical line now queen closer it is a portion of brick obtained by cutting a brick lengthwise into two portions its width equal to half width of full brick as you can see here queen closer if the brick is cut longitudinally that is lengthwise such that its width becomes equal to half the width of total brick it is known as queen closer now queen closer quarter is a portion of a brick obtained by cutting a queen closer into two pieces its size is thus 1 by 4th of a full brick obviously if you cut this queen closer into two parts it forms queen closer quarter it is the portion of a brick which is so cut that the width of one of it is and is half of a full brick while the width of other end is equal to full brick width as you can see here the width of one of its end is half the width of full brick you can see it and the another in another side you can see its width remains unchanged that is equal to full width of the brick thus a king closer has half header and half structure as you can see in this figure bevel beveled closer it is a special form of king closer in which the whole length of the brick is beveled in such a way that half width is maintained at one end and full full width is maintained at the other end so you can see in this figure in one side half width is maintained and in another side full width is maintained and the brick is cut along its structure in a sloped manner that is it is beveled so another term is metered closer metered closer is a portion of brick whose one end is cut splayed or metered for full width the angle of splay may vary from 45 to 60 degree as you can see here this width is metered at an angle of 45 to 60 degree so if you see a brick like this you can call it a metered closer bed it is the portion of the brick cut across the width that it that is it is smaller in length than the full brick if you see a brick cut in cut along its width you can call it a bed so half bed if the length of the brick is equal to half the length of the full brick it is known as half bed as you can see in this diagram if the brick is cut in such a way that its length becomes equal to half the length of full brick we can call it a half bed three quarter bed it is the portion of a brick with length equal to three quarters of the full brick length here you can see the length of this portion of brick is equal to three quarter of the full brick in that case you can call it a three quarter bed if in a portion of brick the length the length becomes equal to 1 by 4th of the brick we can call it a quarter bed now beveled bed if you have a bed and its width is beveled that is it is cut in slope you can call it a beveled bed arris it is the edge of a brick any edge of the brick any one edge you can call it arris now frog or kick a frog is an indentation in the face of a brick to form a key for holding the mortar as in this diagram you can see there is a depression or indentation in the face of this brick so this indentation is known as frog it is useful to form a key for holding the mortar if the frog is provided only on one face as in case of handmade bricks that brick is laid with that face on the top 
obviously there may be bricks having frogs on both sides as in pressed bricks however there is no frog in wire cut bricks another term is molded bricks these are manufactured in special shapes and sizes for giving architectural shapes they are used for copings cornices sitting courses sloping walls etc some commonly used special specially shaped molded bricks are shown below number 1 is bull nose it is a specially molded brick with one or two edges rounded single nose bull if a brick has one edge rounded we can call it a single no single bull nose as shown here here you can see one edge is rounded so this is called single bull nose if it has two edges rounded as here you can see this edge is also rounded this is also rounded we can call it double bull nose brick another one is cow nose as you can see this it resembles like the nose of a cow so it is called as cow nose brick if you have a brick curved like this you call it curved brick and you can see also bricks like this shape these are known as coping bricks if a brick has bird's mouth like structure you can call it bird's mouth brick another one is cant if one of the header is shaped like this you can call it a cant if both the headers are shaped in this way you can call it double cant or we have another type of brick that's known as secant as you can see in the diagram it is secanted so these bricks are used in copings or where rounded corners are preferred to sharp arises now another term is splays these are special molded bricks which are often used to form plinth these may be splay structure or splay header as you can see in this figure the structure of this brick is splayed so it is known as splint structure if the header of this if the header of the brick is splayed you can call it plinth header so these are used to form plinth now another term is dog leg or angle these are used to ensure a satisfactory bond at coins which are at an angle other than right angled so friends these bricks are preferred to metered closer as you can see it, they have a great bonding properties please subscribe this channel for latest videos thanks for watching this video